Okay guys, today we will be doing uh, this test. Uh, my goal here is to test D5 render to Emotion and Blender EV. It's the same scene. I tried to set it up the same way, but it will look like it's a bit different because each render engine is different, right? Uh, D5 come, come across uh, with this version, the latest version this week. The plugin, the GI is better and the overall shadows are more accurate and everything looks better let's see it okay there's not that much options to change in terms of render settings bounce in gi nothing in, in d5 it is what it is right just throw some lights here and there and play with effects and materials right the materials i try to copy the same way but you know give me a discount it is what it is let's see let's render that d5 there is a previous image here let me delete these two guys okay d5 let's say png okay cool five is a nice software nowadays they have a uh, their plan is subscription. Back in the days, it was a uh, perpetual license. You would pay, if I'm not wrong, uh, something around 500, and then you would get the full license for the rest of your life. That's what I, I, I got, thankfully. But I'm not really using that much because, uh, at least for me, the final results. And not for stills. For stills, still it's better. But for videos are. I don't know. I didn't get what they what they show in their in their uh, reel, right? What they show in their video, uh, releasing the version. It's, the result is never even nothing even close to that, because there is no pass of like I'm being a push and nothing that you can compose. And I don't really know how they achieve that result. Go. Okay, a minute and. Three seconds better than my previous test. A minute and three seconds. Okay. D5. Here we go. Let's take these guys out. It's not really interesting. Any pass for us. Okay, let's go now. To emotion, huh? To emotion, amazing. Yeah. This guy to emotion. I'm gonna be using Path Tracer, it's more realistic, it's the new technology came in, it came with the new version of 2Emotion, I think they still have things to improve, but so far so good for, compare with the other competitors, it's not really real time, but the render is really fast, however, I have to increase the samples, so you have more control over here, because it's a Path Tracer, so I basically increase the samples in a level that I at least for my first first sight, there's no noise enough to flicker to keep flickering in an animation, and that's my goal, right? I want to have a level of noise that doesn't flick in the animation. Unfortunately, the five doesn't give me that. Yeah, it is what it is. So the only solution for the five is increasing the size of the animation, like 4K. And then it will, it will capture more deta details and it's, it's less likely will flick over the, the frames. But if you want to render just a full HD, yeah, good luck. Okay, let's render this guy out. Twin motion. Go, my friend. Here we go. Okay, okay, to emotion, give me your best. You see, it's very, it's very, um, it's very cool, I think. The path tracing to emotion opens uh, another range of possibilities for people that want to achieve better results in those render engines, like to emotion. No, it used to two motion used to be a competitor uh, for Lumion, but then Lumion took over, 
years ago and it was always it always seems that twin motion will be behind all the time and then epic bought it and still the gi solution wasn't that good the standard solution the real time it's not that that good it's it's very like gaming so it's good for some presentation depending on depending on what what it is for right if it's a presentation in a architectural office that people really want to see a light and how things how beautiful things could be without the necessity to be realistic go for it it's good it's way cheaper than lumion right but if you want to achieve photorealism that's the way to go now path trace in lumion in tree motion you achieve better results for interiors and for exteriors than lumion Stop it. One minute forty four seconds in a high level of samples, right? It's not like uh, I'm name I'm gonna be name it this stream motion. Stream motion. Okay, a minute forty four seconds. Seconds. Now let's open Blender. Blender, my best friend, and I will be testing EV. All right, but because I was doing my best in the other softwares, I will try to do my best here as well. Okay, and for my best, understand I'm gonna use all the results that Blender allows me to use. Okay. So that, let's say, technique that I will do for people that, that, that knows Blender, it's nothing new. And for me, personally, I think the, the results that I want to, that I want to achieve is very good. Using that technique, it's going to give me what I want, okay? So right now, I have EV, right? The way it is. Uh, with the ambient occlusion, that's how it looks like. But if you can see here, uh, that seems good, but I'm not going to be using this ambient occlusion that much. Maybe just two. And my thing is, I'm going to use EV, but catching the lighting part of the lighting and the ambient occlusion from cycles in one single shot and we will see how long it will take the quality and compare all three okay that's my approach that's my approach using ev of course i have to do the baking so all the probes are here but the probes are hided you see all the probes are here but anyway that's EV. Let's see how long it will take and the quality. All right, let's start it. Press F12. F12. There we go. There we go. Let's go, EV. Give me your best. Give me your best. I don't know if because I, re I have rendered it with uh, with this with three motion. Maybe uh, maybe if I if I wasn't if I didn't if I haven't used it three motion before, it will be a bit faster maybe because the kernels of the video card was kind of connected to twin motion somehow to render out that and this transition maybe it takes a bit of more time for blender to understand for the first time 
not for the second, not for the second time. Okay, let's see. There we go. A minute and ten seconds. A minute and ten seconds. Okay, I will take a note on that, but I will try a second render from now on. Let's see. Let's see. Oops. No. No. Cancel it. emotion so it doesn't take nothing from from the video card right okay let's try to render again um, oh shit come on cancel it again uh, I forgot to start it here man it's late smell it's late forget forgive me forgive me for that come on Sell you. Okay, let's start it. There we go. F12. Let's see. Let's see. Give me your best, TV. Man, I really like the the two emotion. The new approach into emotion it opens a big range of possibilities. I've been rendering a couple exteriors and still flicking like in the grass or in some areas, some areas mostly in, under the shadow. But it's very solid. It's very very solid. I mean, for high quality, I mean better quality animation. At this range of this. Render engines, I think that's uh, that's good enough. Really good enough. It's gonna be the same, I think. It's gonna be the same. There we go. Okay. A minute and twelve. A minute and twelve. Blender, let's save save the image. Where? Here. Blender. Okay. Imagine we will be using this for animation. Okay, let's start to compare all the images. First of all, D5. That's D5. Okay. I can't. I can't like this, man. To be honest, it's not what I like. It. I don't like what I'm seeing here. I mean, it can be very good for a couple things, but you know. First of all, that will flick a lot in the animation. You see this lack of information here when, the, when during the animation when the denoising trying to kind of mix all of these. You see, it's not drawing the geometry enough. I feel lack of depth in some areas. This area is too over over bright, but. Maybe it was my fault. My fault. I don't know what is this reflection here. It's some. Um, I don't. I. I really don't like it. I. W I wouldn't use it for anything. To be honest. No. I wouldn't be using it for anything. Let's see the three motion version. Much better. Look at this. Much better. Eh? We have the shadows, we have nice depth. See? Oh man, I still look at this. Still at 500 
512 samples we don't have that much details and the noise the denoise blend in these errors this means that during the animation it's very likely that this error would be flickering the errors that doesn't have that much details overall it will be fine but the errors under the shadows we uh, see this um, and three motion took uh, one minute 44 seconds to render these results here which is a kind of in my opinion way better way way better than d5 took more time uh, d5 took a minute and four this one took a minute 44 but i would go for this for sure for sure now let's see blender Oh man, look at this. You know what I mean? EV solid render GI well distributed. See? It feels like uh, it feels it's not a real time render engine. Look at this. The depth here in the areas that are more are more deep. It has the darkness, the necessary darkness, you know, because it's it's taking the ambient occlusion from cycles combined with the lighting so you know look at this this is solid man i can't see this flickering at all look at this let's compare side by side look at this compare this with this look at this man twin motion path tracer Blender render EV. The materials looks as good as Twin Motion, you know. Like. I mean, the materials, the the color is a bit dis different because it's different, but the quality is, is similar. And this is Path Tracer, man. This should be, uh, I would say, much better, right? Look at this. Quality really solid. Uh, by the way, in two motion, I have to do this angle a little bit awkward compared with this one because there is no clipping in my camera, so I couldn't I couldn't really clip anything on two motion. There is a wall behind it, so I have to play with the the fall of the lens. But man, what do you think? Let me know what do you think. I will not even compare the five because there is no comparison with the five. Look at this. What is this? Compare this. Compare these two pieces here, man. What is that? What is that? This is this is solid. Look at it, man. It's solid. It's sharp. It's like there is no grainy. You see, there's grainy all over all the places here and under the D5. Look at this grainy and some areas we we miss depth. You see, you see, look this depth. There's an issue here. But look the depth. The depth is different, man. Look, look the look here, behind, below the couch. Like, look at this. It could be like this, but you know, this is more visible. This is more like you feel that it's it's more realistic. It's more real realistic. Look the contact here. Look this. We have this nice. You see, we have the corners here very well divided. Amen. Let me know if you like it. I will be releasing uh, very soon, of course. And it will not be a new Demi, but it will be in another platform. But very, very affordable and showing how can you get these results using EV. I think people nowadays, they are looking too much to those guys and underestimating this what they have already blender so in my opinion i still would go for blender let me know what you think in the comments see you